Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. Today we're going to talk about what it's really like being an automotive technician in 2021. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so one of my viewers made a comment in one of my uh, videos about how I always make it sound pos so positive that being an automotive technician is the greatest thing in the world and I don't explain the struggles. I wanted to acknowledge his comment and say, yeah, he is right. There is some struggles with being an automotive technician nowadays. There is a lot of difference between when I was first started 25 years ago versus being a technician now. But I actually believe that the being a technician now is a much better time to be a technician. You guys have much better tools, much better schooling opportunities. Shops tend to be more equipped. There's more options as far as, you know, uh, what the shops can offer you as far as health benefits and retirement benefits, all those type of things that a lot of shops back in the day did not offer and that you guys are offered now. So I believe nowadays, being in 2021, being an automotive technician is way better than being a technician back when I started 25 years ago, back in the 90s. So back in the 90s, automotive technicians were not necessarily looked at as uh, upper tier uh, members of society as far as what we make for a living, you know, what we offer for a living. But nowadays, with the technology of the cars going up, and the schooling that's required and the money that's invested to be an automotive technician, that standard has come up a lot and we're not looked down upon like we used to be back in the day. So for you guys, that is a lot better. Nowadays, you're, you're into computers, you're into the mechanical side. There's so many things in this field that you can be into and get good at to make a living for your family and be very respectful in the community. One of the big benefits that you guys have nowadays as an automotive technician is the uh, resources of tools. Uh, back in the day, we did not have nearly the option that you guys have, such as you know Milwaukee Tools and Gear Wrench and and SK and some of the other brands out there, you know Proto and and uh, Astro and all these office, all these awesome tool companies that are out there available for you guys. We didn't have that. We had to buy from either Sears or we had to go on the big tool trucks and get the snap on. And so you guys have a lot more opportunities for tools as far as financing, uh, as far as you know, buying it from a tool truck, buying it online, your warranties are awesome. I think you guys in 2021 have a much better tool buying experience than we did back in the day. Tools now are nicer, stronger, faster. You have all those options and we did not have as many back in the day. So for you guys considering being automotive technicians in 2021, you guys have an awesome opportunity with the tools. Uh, also, back in the day, we did not have the opportunities for school. Uh, schools like UTI weren't even around uh, when I first started out or they were just getting started. Um, dealerships uh, offered very little bit of training. You know, they would send you to a uh, some basic classes and stuff like that. But nowadays, there's all kinds of opportunities online, in you know, universities, you know, community colleges. You guys have a great opportunity to get trained and uh, put those skills directly to work. Whereas back in the day for us, um, that was a lot harder for us. And we had to do a lot of on, basically on the job training. And then, uh, you know, you know, following flow charts and stuff like that, and kind of just learning on the fly. When I say the cars nowadays are easier to work on versus the cars back in the day when I first started, it's kind of like a yes and no. We, back in the day, the cars were a lot bigger, there was a lot more room, and they were a lot less technical, but there was a lot less information available to us as technicians to fix these cars. So we didn't have the ability to plug scan tools in or if we did, we had to like push buttons and flash codes and it was very primitive. So we had to do some basic engine repair and, and basic electronic uh, knowledge and to try to figure the problems out. It was almost like figure, figuring problems out blind. And then midway through my career, they came out with computer controlled stuff, such as computer controlled carburetors, what they would refer to as feedback carburetors. And those things were a nightmare because you had a mechanical and you had an electronic problem problems and you had to diagnose it was a mechanical problem or electronic problem you know and and a lot of times it was both actually in in, in the early days um, 
Nowadays, we're able to plug a scan tool in. We're able to, we're able to hook, hook up a lab scope and see stuff visually. Uh, we have that advantage nowadays um, versus the old day. There was ignition scopes and stuff like that, but there wasn't really scopes around for checking, you know, turn signal switches and modules and stuff like that, like there is today. The ones that were around, there wasn't a lot of information on how to um, to you know, hook them up. There wasn't a lot of uh, capabilities of, like zooming in super close and fine and, and looking for those glitches in in a circuit or something like that, like in a computer or something like there is nowadays. We didn't have we did not have those opportunities so nowadays you guys have much better tooling that allows you to diagnose cars and fix cars a downfall to the cars nowadays is they are a lot more compact and there's a lot more things going on so you have to remove a ton of stuff to get to one problem or to even test the problem and you know that is a big challenge and i think nowadays that is a much more difficult tasks for you new technicians out there or current technicians out there the cars are so tight and compact and uh and, and complex you know so it's not like a simple diagnostic anymore you know you, you really have to know your stuff you really have to have some training you really have to have some basic skills and then you still have to have those old school mechanical skills where you're taking stuff apart and putting things together those those skills are still there but you have the electronic skills and, and uh, diagnostic skills on top of that which we did not necessarily have back in the day we would use vacuum gauges and, and uh, timing lights and stuff like that and now you guys are, are, are you know computer controlled and reprogramming and stuff like that so is it better to be a technician now versus back in the day I would absolutely say so yes you guys get paid a lot more money than we did back in the day your uh, respectability is a lot higher today um, the tools that you get is you know much better and you have you know way more options as far as how to pay for those tools um, so yes I would say being an automotive technician in 2021 is a much better deal if you're into cars i encourage you to get out there and be an automotive technician in today's world i'm brian esser from how to automotive i'd like to thank you guys for watching encourage you to subscribe invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this thank you again for watching and get out there and work on those cars